Okay, so I get a lot of questions on the 6.0 liter IPR and what to look for once you pull it out of the vehicle and what to check. Now this one has an obvious defect in it uh, with the screen torn on there and many may not think nothing of that. The screen's torn, okay I'll change it out and I'll put new seals on it and it'll be just fine. Well, that screen tore because there was a piece of debris that blew past that screen and got into the actual IPR pinto valve in there. And I'm going to try to show you what it looks like in there and the piece of debris in there that was holding this one open. I have not pulled it off yet, obviously. So this screen damage right here is very obvious. It's very large. Uh, some of them have like a, a sliver piece of metal, I guess you could say, and they'll blow right through nice and clean through this screen. So you got to really look, it may not be this obvious. Now after that, I, I would look at these O-rings right here. There's a couple O-rings here and there's a backup like Teflon ring and stuff like that. I've seen these actually blown out. Here's a Teflon uh, type ring. And that backs it up and supports the other one. I've seen those blown out. This ring right here is obviously just an oil control ring for external leaks and those usually don't go bad. It's these ones where you can get the oil past the actual um, screen here. So we're going to pull the screen off of here and it's kind of hard to get them off. I've never been able to get one off without destroying it. There we go. Once you get one side up, it'll actually come out. And I'm going to try to show you the piece of debris down in here. Hopefully I can get it cleaned out and we can give a good shot down this hole right here because that's where the debris went through and that's holding the actual pintle seat uh, valve in here uh, away from the actual seat so therefore it's constantly dumping the IPR uh, oil and it's not um, it's not going to build up especially from a start uh, from a cold start. So this one actually caused the truck to die out going down the road. One other thing to check for, which is you know, less common, is those two terminals in there, you can check across them and make sure there's continuity to the actual solenoid inside of here, the windings. And I'll put the actual um, the resistance spec uh, from the workshop manual in the description down below. Okay, so you should be able to see that there's a piece of the actual mesh screen in there and the debris that went through to cause that mesh screen to break off in the first place and usually you can see it pretty easily just like that but taking a, a good flashlight and pointing it down in there there it is and you can see it and you, you know um, what's keeping it open right there okay so that's about it I just want to show you um, the different areas to check on here and look down inside of there because it's a lot easier to show you and show uh, examples than uh, try to explain it over the web and text so hopefully this helps uh, many guys they will actually clear that debris out of there by pushing down on the pencil and then they will clear it out of there and then they'll spray some brake clean through here and the holes in the outside and down in there and try to clean out the rest of the garbage in there me personally if I'm pulling the IPR out and the truck's got hundred twenty thousand miles on it or something like that I'm not cleaning no IPR I'm changing it out that's the proper way to do it in my opinion